What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we got some vape mail, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we are doing some vape mail. I haven't done this in a long time, and it's a little bit more old school for me. I haven't done it in probably about a year. I'm going to bring in some other stuff back as well in the coming weeks that you're going to see. Uh, just film some stuff as well. It's coming out soon. I hope you guys enjoy this one. In the meantime, though, I'll have uh, kind of the, I have the camera right here just for the vape mail portion. And of course, this camera right here for me. So I have two cameras going right now. Hopefully, I don't get lost in the whole thing. But here we go. This was actually sent via regular parcel. Uh, it wasn't through DHL, which is where I usually get my review stuff from. And to be honest, I have no idea what this could be. But I guess we'll dig in together, find out firsthand, and let's check out what we have in this beautiful package here. All right, got my little trusty knife in here. Try and make a slit. That should be good enough. Open it all up. Tear the packaging, and there we go. All right, so here we have, all right, we have the TFB8 Baby. There it is, guys. So I believe this was sent to me by Gearbest. Uh, there's nothing in the packaging, but they did say they were gonna send me one when they got a hold of these, and it must have come from there. Oh, yes, there is something in the package. Uh, anyways, and it must have come, oh, it's just a receipt. I'm not gonna show that on camera. Um, but yeah, just, uh, they did say they were gonna send it to me uh, once they had it in stock. It must come from the North American warehouse, which is why it was sent via regular mail. But here we go, guys, the TFB8 baby. I don't know, what do you, you guys wanna do like an unboxing here right now? Let's do it, why not? Grab my trusty knife out, cut this uh, packaging open. Try not to cut myself, as I almost did. All right, so it's just, just gonna be like an unboxing slash first look kind of thing, nothing more than that. Let's uh, take out the packaging here. There we go, and a little bit more over here. Oh, this is hard, harder than I thought. All right, there we go, good enough. Here it is right here, the lovely box. And uh, you'll see down here, it's a very small tank. This thing is tiny. It does still come with your uh, silica. You have your spare glass. Right there, a little frosty. It's been pretty cold in Calgary recently, so that would explain why it's been a little little uh, frosty on the glass there. No chips or anything I can see visibly. We will stick that back in. It does come with a spare coil. That is good. And uh, this is way smaller than the original TFB8 coil, so that's kind of cool that they made it a little bit smaller. It also might be a downside for some people, but the smaller the coil means you can have more juice in this tiny little tank. And before we get to that, let's check out what's underneath here. Really quickly, take off that. We have a little user manual. Again, some vape bands down there, some more silica, because why not? Your little QA pass card and a whole bunch of extra seals and O-rings and all that good stuff. No RBA section with the baby, which I'm actually not opposed to, but some of you may be. Uh, if you guys do like to rebuild, we're gonna try and twist this apart here. There it is down there. Here's the coil. I'm guessing I have to twist this off as well, but uh, it's stuck on there pretty good and probably because of the cold, so maybe I'll leave it alone for now. Screw it back on there. And the biggest thing I wanna check for is the fill hole, guys. Let's check out the fill hole, see what it looks like. Pops off just like that. Uh, I heard it was bigger. It is slightly wider, but it's still not really wide enough for me, I don't think. I don't know if I have a 120 mil around here I could test out. I don't think I do. Uh, let's see here. Let me pause it right here, and I'll be right back with the 120 mil. All right, guys, we're back. I got my 120 mil. I'm going to fill this thing up on camera for you guys. Let's see if it's any better. All right, so we're going to push this in, and hopefully you guys can see. I'm trying to keep an eye up on top as well but also showing you in the camera that it is filling. Uh, it's definitely flooding the coil a little bit right now, but I'm not really against that because I do have to um, prime the coil anyways, which I forgot to do in all this excitement. But uh, no, I mean, it should be good. And I'll let it sit for a little while just so it can absorb, then I'll try and vape on it. And I'll have a re review out on this guy probably in the next, actually, what kind of coil is that in there? So this is a 0.4 ohm, 40 to 80 watts. Or in beast mode, 55 to 65 mods is the best they recommend. Going over this coil, let's see what this one looks like. This is a 0.15, 50 to 110 watts, and in beast mode they recommend uh, 60 to 80 watts, if you guys can see that. Sorry about the glare, but hopefully you guys can see that. 
All right, so that pretty much wraps up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like the little unboxing slash first look slash fate mail video. If you guys do like it, let me know in the comments below and I will do more of these. Thank you all so much for everything. And until next time, happy vaping, YouTube.